happy to be with you and everyone today for this historic day as we name Professional Baseball's newest club. The overwhelming support from this community has been fascinating and we thank you for all the submissions and all the votes in the Name the Team contest. It has truly been an exciting couple of weeks and all the interaction with our fans and the media, both the local and national stage, and it seems like everyone's had a lot of fun with this contest. When I had the opportunity to call the winners and let them know that they were actually finalists for today, there were a lot of excitement on the phone and like they won the lottery, which was a lot of fun. So it's great to see all the kids here today from the Wilson Gray YMCA Youth and Family Center. Certainly excited to have a brand new ballpark coming to their city. Also, the kids from Freddie Wish Elementary School. We also have Hartford's Proud Drill Drum and Dance Corp here as well. We're going to hear from them a little bit later. Well, our team general manager, Tim Restall, is with us today as we unveil our new team name. Tim is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the ball club, and is the smiling face you often see walking through the stands at each game, making sure that everyone is having a wonderful time. Tim is one of the members of the Name the Team Selection Committee and has been working extremely hard in helping secure the identity of baseball's newest team. Please welcome General Manager Tim Restall. Thank you, Jeff. It's great to be here and see the great support for our new team name. Before we start, I want to thank some of the folks that came out today to help us. From 4AV Now, Teach Art to Me, A1 Party Rentals, Time Machine Hobby, Wilson Gray YMCA, Daco Bussing, Connor and Jim Exotics, Circle K Farms, and Atlas Fireworks. So thank you guys for coming out today. Since we, since we opened our new office on Trumbull Street, we've had a lot of foot traffic walking by and commenting on the names and how exciting it's been. So we're really excited today to, to get us down to number one. Are you kids ready? Uh, I'm sorry, are you kids ready? Can I hear yeah? Excellent. So today we have our five finalists today, and they're all winners in this room. The four runners up will receive season tickets to our wonderful new ballpark in downtown Hartford in 2016, and the winner will claim our grand prize lifetime season tickets. It's time to meet our five, final five contestants. We'll be introducing them alphabetically. Our first contestant, representing the name Hedgehogs, is Ashley Picard. <laughs> Ashley is from New Britain, is a Yankees fan, and family friends with Mike Stanley and, and Clay Buckholz. Ashley will bring her three and a half year old daughter and her dad to opening day in Hartford in 2016. Our next contestant, coming up with the name the Praying Mantis, Jackson Grady. Jackson is a baseball star from West Hartford who helped his team win the Little League Championship last season. He loves the Red Sox and Dustin Fedora and is, will be planning on taking his mom and dad's opening day. The next contestant representing the River Hogs, Julio Concepcion. A Hartford resident and big Yankees fan, Julio's favorite sport memory as a kid was meeting Hall of Fame second baseman Roberto Armar at Winter, Winter Games in Puerto Rico. He's a former shortstop in his days in Little League and he plans to bring his wife Erin and his baby girl Alexa to opening day. Our next contestant, representing the name Whirly Birds, Tim. Key Tim. Like many, Tim's past Red Sox memories were washed away in October 2004 when he was able to celebrate with his son a World Series championship with the Red Sox, for their first in 86 years. He plans on taking his wife and two children to opening day. And our final contestant, representing the name Yard Goats, Anthony Castora. Anthony is a Yankees fan and loves to watch uh, Don Mattingly play. He's a graduate from UConn and plans to bring his wife, Shannon, to opening day. Let's give a big round of applause for our top five names. At this time, I'd like to introduce the man who's been leading the process as the president of Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs and the Richmond Flying Squirrels, as well as consulting with the Akron Rubber Ducks. He has been intimately involved with three Name the Team contests. 
one of the top operators in minor league baseball throughout his career, and we're so happy that he's with our team. Please welcome Chuck Domino. Thank you, Tim. <clears throat> what a great name the team contest has been. It's amazing that when we narrowed it down to 10 names, not one person had anything negative to say about any of them. It really, really was refreshing. Um, you know, I've been through a couple of these and really nothing was too surprising except for the overwhelming support that we got. We expected uh, a lot of the negativism that we got. We, we, we got that in other places. We did the Name the Team contest, so that was not a surprise. What was surprising was the amount of people that entered the contest and, uh, and voted in the contest. So there's a real passion for minor league baseball in Hartford. The one common thing that we kept hearing about uh, on the comments about the names were, these names don't have enough to do with Hartford. And I think the, the mistake that a lot of people make or, or forget, that the name becomes synonymous with the city through familiarity, saying it over and over again, reputi repetition. Uh, for instance, we had a lot of people that wanted us to be called the Whalers because of the Hartford Whalers. But the Hartford Whalers came from Boston back in, back in the uh, 20 or 30 years ago. It wasn't even a Hartford original name. The Yukon Huskies, if you didn't know, the Huskies were named after Yukon, spelled Y-U-K-O-N, because Yukon rhymed with Yukon, spelled U-C-O-N-N, -N, short for University of Connecticut. Uh, we had a lot of teams that said we should, a lot of people that said we should have kept the name the Rock Cats, but I want to just read something uh, that was in the Hartford Current in 1994 about the Rock Cats. The Hardware City Rock Cats, what kind of goofball name is that? The Rock Cats, it's a baseball team, not a Saturday morning cartoon show. So, you know, even back then, there was a lot of negativity about the Rock Cats. One of the most successful teams in minor league baseball, the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, have led all of minor league baseball in attendance for six out of the last eight years. When we ran that contest and named them the Iron Pigs, here was a comment. The team name is the Iron Pigs is really a very poor business decision. Driving away customers is not a good method for success for your business. And yet, led the entire country six out of eight years. So there's a lot of examples. I've been to Detroit. I haven't seen a lot of tigers ro roaming the streets of Detroit. I've been to Cincinnati, haven't seen a lot of Bengals. I've been to St. Louis, no Rams running the streets of St. Louis. So once one of these names is selected, and once the logo is unveiled in a, in a couple of weeks, maybe a month down the road, and everything starts to come together, I think it'll make a lot more sense to everybody. And the person who has the most at stake in naming this team is the owner. And this owner is a very smart businessman. And he is confident that whatever one of these five names is chosen is the right name for his business. At this time, I'd like to introduce the owner, Josh Solomon. So it's great to be here, everybody. Um, I firstly wanted to thank everybody for their overwhelming support. Uh, the fact is, we got over 6,000 entries um, in our Name the Team contest. Um, we have generated in excess of 35,000 votes over the past three weeks. That is unbelievable and uh, I think a record. So we are extremely excited uh, to, to, to be here announcing it here in the north side is clearly appropriate. Now, let, let's get down to the good stuff. The moment everybody has been waiting for, particularly I, Charles Matthews. 6,000 entries down to five. So let's announce our fifth runner up. And our first winner of two season tickets to the Hartford Ballpark in 2016. Let's give it up to the Hartford Hedgehogs. Congratulations. All right. 
Our next winner of two season tickets for 2016 in Hartford, the Hartford Praying Mantis. Third runner up, the Hartford River Hogs. We are now down to two. The Whirly Birds and the Yard Goats. Can I get a drum roll, please? Our new team name is the Hartford Yard Goats. Questions. Anybody have any questions? Who has questions? We'll begin with the kids. Be hot dogs at the new ballpark. Absolutely. And maybe some goat milk. Be water parks. Be water parks. Water slide, water slide. You like the water stuff? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough. Will, will there be water slides? Not, not planned yet, but we talked about putting a mister in the stadium today. You know what the mister is? Yes. Why didn't both teams win? Oh, both teams did win. Well, there's only one team winner, but everyone won season tickets. I'll take that one. You got it. Will there be activities at the ballpark? There will be tons of fun activities in the park, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>